This slide concerns the moment generating function and the moments for a negative binomial random variable with parameters r and p. So first of all, the moment generating function for x having the negative binomial distribution with parameters r and p is m of t is equal to p divided by 1 minus 1 minus p e to the t raised to the r power. Now you may recognize this quantity inside of the braces as the moment generating function of a geometric random variable with parameter p. This has the same domain of definition as before and if you remember that uh, domain of definition for t you can go ahead in this particular case and drop the absolute value marks because this quantity on the left hand side is always positive and that's less than 1. Dividing by 1 minus p gives you this and 1 minus p is always positive so the sense of the inequality stays the same and if you take the natural log of both sides you get the natural log of 1 over 1 minus p. Well if p is assumed to be between 0 and 1 then 1 minus p will also be between 0 and 1 and 1 over something between 0 and 1 will give you something between 1 and infinity and the natural log of something between 1 and infinity will always be a positive number. Well this is saying that the t must be less than a positive number and that's the same as saying the moment generating function will exist in a neighborhood about zero so it can be used to generate moments. If you take a derivative of the moment generating function and you plug in t equals zero what you will get is the population mean mu the expected value of x to be r times 1 minus p divided by p. Next if you take two derivatives of the moment generating function and plug in t equals zero that will give you the expected value of x squared. You can then use the shortcut formula to come up with the population variance and that is sigma squared which is the variance of x is this quantity. Again very tractable very nice expressions. Next the population skewness again taking another derivative and doing some manipulations will look like this and then finally the kurtosis of a negative binomial random variable looks like this. The last thing is in the limit as r goes to infinity this skewness will approach 0 and the kurtosis will approach 3. Now these numbers 0 and 3 you'll see a little bit later when we get to the normal distribution. These happen to be the skewness and the kurtosis of a normal distribution and the conclusion that we draw from that is as r gets larger and larger the negative binomial distribution will assume a bell shape and we'll see that going forward.